and welcome back to Hustle Catch with Chaos Counseling. I feel like I have a burp coming on, so I apologize about if I stop later, but here we go. <laughs> Our shift ends. I wait, outside. I wait for Hayes outside. Shouldn't be long now. You know, I love this in any dating sim. The game feels really long, and it's like 100% completing this is going to be hard. Then we go back for the second playthrough, and we can skip 80% of the game. <laughs> yep, exactly. Well, that's why I love dating sims. <laughs> I hope he's still coming. He wouldn't ditch me over Finley. It's easy. Would he? Would he? Okay. <laughs> cool. Finally, I see a skinny Siamese cat around the corner. See, he did ditch uh, you. He had to come in cat form. <laughs> sorry for the delay. No, it's fine. Don't worry about it. It's fine. Hmm. How are you? I'm okay. Why? <laughs> Just wondering. <laughs> oh, okay. Thank you. You're hey, welcome. look, he's implementing it. <laughs> Good. <laughs> All right, uh, let's get going, shall we? Lead the way. Oh, and I'm... <laughs> oh, it's so cute. Ah! <laughs> it takes us a while to get back to my place. The cats are pretty quick, but I don't want to make him run to keep up with my pace. It's not like he's my pet or I'm walking a dog. Some well, dogs are slow as balls. Well, don't. do a Detective Pikachu have him ride on your shoulder. Yee. Because his lungs are the size of grapes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's okay. I wanted to get in 10,000 steps this, this hour. hour. <laughs> I love that movie. Have you seen it, your place? What movie? Detective, Detective Pikachu? Pikachu? I did, actually. Okay, good. Yeah, it was pretty good. I have to make sure. <laughs> I was supposed to spread the word of to Detective Pikachu. Him. No, he would have hated that. <laughs> It's probably better to do it like this. Game, stop addressing my jokes. You're Remember, making... we are a free. <laughs> I wonder if anyone's watching us. This is like a classic story of a stray following somebody home. Except it looks too elegant to be a stray. He's <laughs> beautiful. Can't imagine anyone let a cat like him outside. Sorry, just thinking about a stray following you home and dating sims. I'm now imagining Damien following, following you home. Oh, oh. <laughs> Hmm. Oh, wow. Was that weird? It was weird. <laughs> I'm gonna stop thinking about it. We arrive after some time, and by some time, I mean time for me to be super hungry. Ah, oh, crap. Just before we head in, I remember. My place looks like a trash bomb went off. I can't let him see this. Um... Wait there for a second, okay? I gotta take care of something real quick. Eight hours later. Okay. Be right back. <laughs> Pizza boxes, soda cans. I'm keeping on the cap sculptures. Dirty <laughs> laundry, crumpled napkins. All of it has got to get out of here. Just chucks it out the window. <laughs> <laughs> <He's> like, ah! <laughs> it's like that scene from Scott Pilgrim, but instead of you jumping out the window, it's the trash. <laughs> That just reminds me of a story I've seen on Tumblr where the girl, she went to a, a sleepover with some friends, and she went... <gasps> oh, I think I know what you're talking about! And what happened was she went to the bathroom yeah! in the upstairs bathroom, but it somehow got clogged and she's like, didn't necessarily want to ask for help, so she started cleaning it herself, and I like, got a bucket and just started just pouring the dirty... <laughs> oh, God, water out, of the window. out of the window. Oh, and the next morning, she woke up to light the mother just screaming. And on the side of the house, just from the window all the way down, oh, this giant streak of crap. Oh, <laughs> but, no. And they thought it was the older brother, brother who was like... He didn't, like, a, I don't know. He didn't deny it? I don't know. I think the thing was he got home drunk. And so oh. the thing was like, that's what they thought. It's like, he somehow thought that the window was the toilet. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> I, like when you said sleepover, I'm like, is it the. And then the it girl is. had to go to the back. I'm like, yep! <laughs> oh, Lord. Uh, anyway. <laughs> I shovel things in bags and from the trash to the chute. Reminds me of the broken mirror. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> our, wow. murder, our murder mystery of my broken mirror. So, uh, should we talk about that real quick? Yeah. Yes. Before so, we continue. Uh, when we were rooming in college together, um, we were up stupid late for no reason whatsoever. Yes. And um, one of our roommates came in, and I had this uh, long mirror on our door. Yeah. And it was sadly right where the doorstop would hit it. That was a bad plan on my part. <laughs> hey, it's okay. We were all learning in college. <laughs> we were all babies. And our other roommate comes in. She opens the door all the way. With and such just, flourish. Yeah, just flourish. Like, because we're hyper as hell. And just, we hear it smash. And we're just like, 
<laughs> oh, and we move the door, and there's glass and everywhere. Like, wow, well, shit. And so we take the mirror, still high as hell on something. We were like, guys, what if we carried a mirror <laughs> like, like a you, body? Like a dead body out to the trash can. We were sneaking down the goddamn hallway ducking into like the study rooms if we saw people coming to hide the mirror because it's a body <laughs> and then we took it to the trash chute and then we're like damn it it won't go down <laughs> so we had to like go downstairs and we found i think it was a couple either having a finished an argument or making out i can't remember yeah that's an awkward thing to come into <laughs> so we're just like Sneak harder! <laughs> Sneak, be invisible! <laughs> then we jumped. I think that was also the same night our other roommate dropped a bowl of popcorn and it fell perfectly into the form of a dead body. <laughs> but like a stick figure dead yeah, body. And so we were like, <gasps> it's a murder! <laughs> <laughs> I think we even grabbed like someone's measuring tape and just like. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> looped it. it was, we were so stupid. Uh, just speak. Find of- roommates that you can be idiots with, oh, guys. But be safe, it idiots. Was beautiful. Speaking of, you know, just covering up a body, there's this really, really low-budget horror film called The Ice Cream Man. Oh, no. Oh, no. Well, the ice cream man gets caught with blood on his face. It's like, is that blood on your face? He then just, like, takes a sample. No, it's grenadine for my ice cream treats. Well, one of my review, one of the people I saw who reviewed it, well, he gets caught with, like, a bloody stick, and a kid just looks at him. The reviewer chimes in. Don't worry, kid, it's my grenadine stick. (laughs) No. (laughs) Okay, click. Oh, so sorry, guys. Sorry. Uh, I just, it's the trash. I had to go. I've got, I'm, I have a feeling we're going to get the angry commenters that we got <laughs> in our first couple episodes of Doppelganger. <laughs> it's a rush job, and it's far from everything that needs to be done. But it's a little more presentable in there now. Okay, sorry to keep you waiting. Come on in. Ta da! I mean, oh my like gosh, it I'm... looks clean. Why didn't mine get that? Because uh, Mason came through the window. Oh, yeah. Mason came too quickly because you were like, oh, we got to make something. And you were like still thinking about dinner. Oh, yeah. And as you were going to the door, you're like, I trip over some stuff. Why did I clean that up? <laughs> That's so. right. Okay. Welcome to my humble abode. You can hide the expression on his face only once. I can see his ears flicking back and forth. I know enough about cat body language to know what that means. He's... <laughs> okay, I have no idea what that's supposed to mean. Okay, fair. Is everything okay? Did I miss something while cleaning up? No, there's your other cat, Doom Doom. Oh, no, I was thinking. I don't know. It's not what I thought. It doesn't feel like you, if that makes sense. Yeah, it's my aunt's place. I really get a say in the decor. Wouldn't have all the precious ceramic figurines. I also th- I also thought like he if he's like, oh it's not what I thought. So you're like, oh perfect! Opens up a door <laughs> and, and all of the grass. <laughs> <laughs> and then he's like, oh yeah, okay. That reminds me of a Calvin and Hobbes. It's like, I cleaned my room like you said. Okay, did you straighten out the closet? No, don't open it! And all the <laughs> oh, and all the crap geez. comes out. Oh, so that's why. It's not you, but still welcoming, I think. It feels friendly. Until you said that the next time she emails me, she'll appreciate Where it. Where is our aunt? Uh, Dad. Oh. Oh. So we're lying and we killed her. Oh. <laughs> Will she mind if you have somebody over? I don't see why she would. Okay, good. Does it even count as having somebody over when they're a cat? Yes. Yes. Ow. Oh. Because don't you want people's pets to come over so you can pet them like crazy? Yes. <laughs> then there's inviting somebody over. <laughs> he towards the living room, tail curled behind him, tentatively sniffing the air like a regular cat in a new environment. Where's Mochi? Ow. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if Fruits Basket's a thing where she had men over or and she hugged them, they turned into animals. So, yes, having someone in his cat form is counts as someone coming over. Perfect. Crap. I really tripped over my words, but it's I think okay. I got the point across. You did. I love you. I hope I didn't shove dirty socks beneath the couch cushions. I forgot about them <laughs> again. Oh, no. So, hey, what do you want for dinner? My treat. 
How does pizza sound? <laughs> oh, I don't know. Pizza will be hard to eat when I'm, um, like this. <laughs> uh, never stops, Mochi. <laughs> Who? No. Oh. Oh, my cat. I don't know where that fat trash bag is hiding. But you'll see him sooner or later. Mochi is rust man. That is my new <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Just he's not here all of a sudden, and my brain's like, oh no. <laughs> he likes to pick the cheese off. Isn't cheese bad for cats? I'm, I'm pretty sure. I have no idea. I'm yeah, I'm pretty sure they were lactose intolerant. Yeah, mm -hmm. it is true. Yep. What are you doing? <laughs> I'd rather not do the same if that's okay. It's not okay. <sighs> sure. You name it and we'll get something else. I bled it out, but honestly, I'm kind of stumped on what else to eat besides Pizza Lloyd. Pizza Lloyd. <laughs> I is... want to find a pizza place <laughs> called Pizza Lloyd. Cooking is out of the question for me. Um. Oh. His tail thumps against the ground as he stares intently at his paws. What? <clears throat> Sorry, it's spoilers. You guys oh. can't see. Okay. Three Just houses. Saying... No. Or what? For Hustle Cat. Mm. You rude. I, I'm I'm sad now. Mm. Why'd you look up spoilers? Please, I appreciate you looking it up, but at the same time, please be careful because I don't want you to get spoiled. That's why I'm here. <laughs> but I appreciate you for doing that. But again, uh, I don't know. I don't have to do anything if it's too much trouble. Oh, please, a little some Chinese takeout, okay? I bet it'll be easy for you to eat fried rice or something. Give him, um, egg drop soup. I think I saw a menu for a Chinese place slipped under my door the other day, so hey, might as well. I threw it away. <laughs> really, if it's too much trouble, don't worry about me. What's gonna be, what's gonna be trouble is when I have two hangry cats in my house instead of one. I insist. That's a fair point. Hangry? So, chicken or pork? Vegetable? Vegetable is fine. He's a vegetarian. Uh, uh, please. You got it, dude. Cowabunga. Oh, uh, thank you. Thank you. After a few quick taps on my phone screen, food is ordered. Yeah, it's DoorDash or something. <laughs> <sighs> Okay, like, for a second I thought, why is Blaze taking over editing with that zoom? <laughs> <laughs> you, you, your editing is like transition to just real life. Yeah, that's how powerful I've become! <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Everyone, Great. make offerings to Blaze before she kills us all! Oh, Great, dear. so... Now I've got to deal with Valentine infecting the games to get after me. Now And now Flays is editing real life. Help. <laughs> after a few quick taps on my phone screen, food is ordered. This is like a regular date. If you consider dates to be eating takeout with a cat while sitting on the couch. Sure. I mean, I do. <laughs> so what is this book you mentioned? Can I see it? Yeah, uh, let's eat first, okay? Can't study on an empty stomach. It's not here yet. Calm down. Oh, sorry. I never thought about that. I used to read through lunch at school, so I guess I studied like that a lot. Really? You didn't hang out with your friends at lunch? When it was nice, me and my friends would go outside and eat on the front lawn. Of course, we get in trouble like almost every single time, but that didn't stop us. That sounds nice. Getting in trouble, or...? But, um, I didn't. I wasn't very popular growing up. What? But you're so sweet. So sweet! How can anybody resist that? Um... He wasn't sweet. <laughs> Once upon a time, he was an asshole. <laughs> Stell flicks wildly, and he starts rubbing on his face with his paws. I almost feel bad. But I really just want to compliment him some more. <laughs> Tell me more about what you were like growing up. Um, I wasn't very interesting. I read a lot. I wrote some. Oh, writing. What did you write? Nothing special. Poetry. Sometimes short stories, sometimes poems. Got it, my boy. It's not worth mentioning. I can finally say when Sunshine was like, I want to go after Hayes' route. I was like, it's too perfect. <laughs> <laughs> 
Oh, I think that's great. I think it's so cool when people write. I wrote a monologue for drama once, but I got turned down to perform it. I, wrote, I guess it kind of sucked. I wrote a monologue once, and I regret that I did it. It was bad. Right. I'm not surprised you were in drama. I think it suits you. You tend to naturally draw the spotlight. Yeah. Really? <laughs> yep. Really? Thanks for looking right at me, honey. Yep. <laughs> really? <laughs> Such I looked at the cabinet. <laughs> the office cam. What are you talking oh, about? Oh, the office cam. Sorry. <laughs> the cabinet was there. You think so? I didn't like get big parts or anything. Or any parts at all. At least I beat Avery in that. I did get a part. <laughs> <laughs> the biggest role I had was Mrs. Dubois from To Kill a Mockingbird. Yeah, it's still a bigger role than I got in college. Still was uncomfortable saying the N-word so much to children. Oh. Well, I do. was Kill a Mockingbird. Yes. Yeah, uh, that's rare. Yeah, I just Mrs. Dubois was. Yeah, I Mrs. Dubois was that. the really old lady who eventually. Uh, spoilers, I guess. Um, the one who, uh, not Scott, but her older brother would have to go read to after he, like, did something rude or ruined something in her yard or some shit. Yeah, she eventually... And she was very, very racist. Yeah. Because, you know, it was the... It's the South. It's yeah. the South in, like, the 1800s or something like that. 19, early 1900s, what am I saying? Yeah, but she, uh, she eventually dies, right? Yeah, she dies. Yeah. She, she, like, dies of old age. Yeah, so that's an... And it's depressing, because the, uh, the boy, Scott's older brother, got kind of attached to her. Yeah. She was, she was a grandma, and when you got to know her, she kind of let off. She was just crotchety. <laughs> yeah. She's just kind of the prime but, example. It's like, I love my grandparents, but... Mm, they they're, they're, kind of, they're set in their ways and not yeah. the best ways. Yeah. 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 Anyway, so, sorry. To condense the character in the play... I just had to yell the N word at some children passing by. <laughs> like, don't you go play with them? And it's like, ah! Mm. Luckily, I like got to sit down with the children and be like, I mean none of this. <laughs> They're like, we know. <laughs> but enough about that. Yeah. <laughs> Do you still write? Sometimes. I still like to write poetry. It helps me work out my thoughts. Mm, am I one of your thoughts? Oh, I better rip that up. <laughs> she can't, he can't know, they can't know. Hilly, can I see it sometime? Uh, I don't know. I look scared. Like it just says something deep and personal. Well, I guess if he uses it to work out his thoughts, then it is pretty personal. Yeah. I should drop it. What else did you do? You had to have other hobbies too, right? Nope. I really liked bird watching. Kinda hard to do that now, huh? Oh, not at all. If I'm quiet, I can hide in a bush and then watch from them <laughs> watch them from afar. That's adorable and also really funny. <laughs> My eyesight is better this way, so it's a shame there aren't many varieties in the city. I did see a beautiful crow the other day. <gasps> There it is! <laughs> it was about my size. Well, my cat size. And its feathers had such a lovely sheen. I thought my brain just immediately imagined this giant human sized crow, and I'm like, it's me. <laughs> I thought a crow was just banged into the window. window and she's like, ah! <laughs> Actually, the funniest thing is, I got to work stupid early, because I'm so not used to the buses yet. Uh, <laughs> there was just this crow in the parking lot, so I'm like, fuck it, and I crowed at it, and it looked at me expectantly, <laughs> and I was like, what did I say? <laughs> did I offend you? Did I offend you? Did I offer you something? What just happened? Or did you just end up saying duck, duck, <laughs> jump, duck, duck? Duck, duck, Robert Downey Jr., and it's like, you know the great Robert Downey Jr.? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, sorry. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> oh. You that, that is gonna... literally what I imagined. <laughs> Except as a crow. What? <laughs> I just looked up a picture that... of a bird the size of a human. Except it's a penguin. I, that's what I found. <laughs> oh, aren't you scared I was gonna try to fight you or something? <laughs> Maybe oh. that's what I did. I told it I was gonna punch it. It's like, bring it, bitch. No, it wouldn't. Not unless I tried to steal its food. I, I, it's food, I imagine. And I'm quite fine without that. Well, I think I'd get beat up as a human if I tried to steal from a corral. <laughs> He's a smiling, but I see his ears beginning to fall downward. His posture molds into something somber. I want to scoop him up. Do it. 
Oh no, I hope I didn't remind him of something bad. Especially not now, when we're actually talking. Do you... Do you really think you can break the curse? Well, I think I did it on myself. Maybe we can figure out what I did tonight. If not, we'll keep trying. I would... He hesitates. It would be okay if we didn't. I'd be okay with that. Eh? They all like being cats! <laughs> Do you want to stay a cat? Well, no, it's just... I'm not sure. I like some things about it. Like what? What can you do as a cat that you can't do as a person? Well... I, I, I don't... I don't know. Socialize? <laughs> I just like it. Yeah, this isn't going anywhere. It's fine. The food's here anyway. So that'll be 20 bucks! <laughs> no. We eat in relative silence. If you don't count Mochi's insistent whining and begging for scraps. He's really loud. <laughs> Meow. Uh. Better luck next time, chump. Meow. I tear through my lo mein. To my surprise, he almost finishes all of his rice. Well, I mean, he doesn't have to use a fork or chopsticks. He gets to just eat it like... Did you know a seven. woman actually taught her cat how to eat with chopsticks? Wow. Bullshit, what? No, I'm st I, I actually saw that on a legit news video Weird. when I was in uh, junior high. Hmm. Weird. Who would have thought that a cat could pack away that much food? Where's he even putting it? His brain. So, when you're a cat... Does your appetite stay the same or something? Uh, sort of. I'm not sure, but I think somehow your stomach still stays people-sized. I've seen Landry eat quite a lot. Possibly his body weight in food. As a cat, I mean. <laughs> I was, like, gonna believe it, because it's like, I can see Landry being the athletic type and having to do that. Oh, Luke's showing me the cat with the chopsticks. Oh, oh, it's I, a fork, bitch! She's no. eating with a fork! Keep watching. Uh, this curse business is so weird. I guess that's a good reminder that we should get down to studying, huh? Oh, sure. Hold on, let me get the book. Why don't you get s settled in while I get ready? Okay. I think I left the book in the bedroom. Yep. There it is. The pile of laundry I threw in here trying to make this apartment look cleaner. I grab it along with the cipher and return to the living room. He just doesn't look like he's moved from the uh, spot on the floor. I don't think that counts as anything even kind of settled in. I pop... I plop down on the couch and pat the cushion next to me. <laughs> Coming up next to me, I'm not going to bite. Unless you want me to. He's a cat. Don't go bestiality okay. on us. Do you know the game we are playing? <laughs> I'm sorry, did you read that? Okay. I think I did, but I don't remember. I'm sorry, I didn't hear you. Sheep, sheepishly. You mean cattily? Leg. <laughs> 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 He climbs up onto the couch cushion and settles into a neat little cat loaf. I don't know. Like, the whole table matters thing. I wonder if it's comfortable to sit like that. It must be if everybody does it. I show him how the cipher works. By magically making the bookmark just poof. <laughs> At first, he reads silently over my shoulder. But he reads a lot more quickly than I do, so we follow the sink pretty quickly. I mean, me. <laughs> it ends up being easier for both of us when I read out loud, so I do that. He watches me, still as if transfixed by my words. I've gone over the pretty basic stuff, but maybe I should ask him to try it out. That's how teaching works, right? You gotta give homework. Yup! <laughs> I don't understand the schools that don't do the homework thing. Like, it's a good idea, but also at the same time, practice makes perfect. <laughs> mm -hmm. It's like homework tweet teaches work ethic. Yeah. You want to give it a shot? Oh, I am not ready for that. Do it. Sorry. 
Don't worry about it. Now, where was I? I read for a while. I start to feel sleepiness tug at me. I think I need to take a break. That's me after reading two pages of any book. Oops. Hey, are you getting sleepy? Only a little. If you want to stop, that's fine, but I don't mind if you want to keep going, too. I look down. Doesn't look anywhere near as tired as I feel. In fact, it looks like he's enjoying it. Oh, I can't say no to that. Nah, I'm just checking. Okay. Please fall asleep <laughs> mid-sentence. I've done that before. It's the worst. <laughs> Encouraged by his excitement, I continue reading well after night has fallen. All right, so we went over a long time, but that's an episode. I'm well, sorry. We'll that's dating Sims in a time. nutshell, so. <laughs> we do that. The we timer was... went off when we got food, if that's any indication, so. Oops. We'll, we'll see, see you guys, guys next time. Next time. Next time.